Hey everyone, welcome back to Dungeons and Ale. This is the channel where we play a whole bunch of Dungeons and Dragons campaign, and we haven't done this one in quite some time. It's been about a month because we were moving sets, which you've been watching Andy's hardcore game you're already aware of, because we're already filming on that set for this, or this set for that. Hardcore. The, <laughs> you can't hump in the family-friendly game, Andy. Hell, I can. How do you think we get the family? <laughs> I don't like where this is going, Andy. Oh. <laughs> What? Is that not accurate? I mean, he's, he's got a point. He's not he's wrong. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, so this is the Spider-Verse campaign that we started back around Spider-Man No Way Home, and we are coming to the inevitable conclusion for. That movie came out eight years ago. Anyway, we're coming to the inevitable conclusion. So that means that today we're going to be catching you up where we are with the storyline and then figure out where we're going next because they're going to be trying to figure out this cool set that our resident artist, Houston, has painted. I did paint all of the things but the trees. I was even going to give you the trees. Nah, uh, I, I can't take No, them. no, the trees look good. <laughs> it's not Huey. <laughs> <laughs> so when Huey DMs a game, is there going to be disadvantage for Andy at all times? <laughs> I'd be disappointed if there was. <laughs> Rip your head off. <laughs> all right, guys. So when we last left off, our heroes were sent into the multiverse to stop the grand evil. And they heroes. came across... <laughs> and they came across universe. Carnage, who had attached himself to the, mul um, the multiverse. It autocorrected to multiple universes. I mean, I that is well, basically exactly what multiverse wrong. is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who had attached himself to the multiverse in an attempt to spread himself out and try to conquer all. Our heroes discovered that he was seeking the pages of the Darkhold to try and get rid of the weaknesses of the symbiote. After gaining a few serums and an Old West version of Spider-Man that would instantly kill a symbiote as their MacGuffin weapons. <laughs> and what were those serums in? Horse and Seminaries. There we are. Family-friendly right. show. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's just like medical science. Yeah, that's all horse that breeding. That's, that's yeah. not even inappropriate. <laughs> um, they sought out who was guarding the dark hold of this world and how it got into the situation. It was there that they discovered it was Wanda Maximoff, and she was trying to murder them because that particular episode was planned around the multiverse of madness. Anyway, Houston got really friendly with her. Yeah. <laughs> nice. We went on a solo adventure. And they went on a solo adventure because Huey was out of town for a little while. If you know what I mean. Soloing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's when Dan and Andy went to the next world, which is Dan's original world. And our story went a little off the rails because I decided to let Dan dictate the rules of his universe until I had to stop him because it was... Because I lose track of what I already said. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, it was a planet for spiders and people suits. Then it was a planet the size for spiders. Then it was a planet that was bigger than everyone. It was... It was all over the place. Um, I still don't remember what it was. <laughs> they then went it's to the gone. Avengers Mansion it's... to figure out what was going wrong with Dan's world to discover that a virus had taken a hold of it, the Darkhold virus. And they were told that the only one with the answers was this universe's Doctor Strange. They then got into a battle with the Hulk, which involved them getting Iron Man suits, and they flew off, deposited the Hulk, and went to Doctor Strange's mansion. Deposited Where him. Where did they deposit the Hulk? <laughs> in Hulk deposit land. <laughs> There's multiple Hulk deposit boxes in New York for <laughs> safekeeping. For just these particular situations. Put a stamp on them. Yep. Deposit. Every uh, superhero group in New York has their own Hulk vault. <laughs> Hulk <laughs> vault. Avengers, can you come pick up That's actually not a terrible idea. Know, yeah, right? yeah. they're all got a spot to put the Hulk. And that brings us to today's situation where they're now standing in the front of Dr. Strange's mansion. Now, if you do enjoy this campaign and you want to see it keep going, please consider giving us a like, subscribe, hit that whole bell, do that all stuff. But we are back to a full schedule and I've jinxed it. Anyway. <laughs> back to a full schedule. <laughs> We're totally not filming this two days late. Okay. Hey, okay. hey, uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> be cool there was a COVID scare no one got it but we got a day off so anyway <laughs> or or we just wanted to play video games it's one of the I two was just, I didn't get a day off I wrote this is Wait. bullshit I want an extra day off now. where did you write comic books stuff nice yeah. Andy's actually got work for the first time in like four months it's awful <laughs> All right, so as you guys approach the Sanctum Sanctorum, you realize that it isn't quite what you were expecting. It's completely boarded up. It is pretty good. There are, there are big signs on it that read, go away. And there's police tape covering all of that on the front door. 
Don't hit the camera. Oh. You my fly. My you're still I, down. I took a Cialis before Where's the adventure. Where's this wind <laughs> coming from? <laughs> yeah, I'm not there well, yet. Dan, yeah, Huey's not there yet. He's yeah. soloing. <laughs> Me and Wanda are finding dark holes, Paige. Why is that window all steamy? As you guys are staring at the entryway to the Sanctum Sanctorum, a portal opens up right next to you and out steps Houston's character, the Spider Supreme. Avenger. Spider he's, Vengeance Supreme. He's God. readjusting his cape and he's waving behind him saying, don't worry, Wanda, I'll see you soon. With a little wink. <laughs> Close the portal. I look at the two of them and go, which way's the wind going? Because yours is going up and it's going down. <laughs> I'm standing on a sewer grate. <laughs> it's just a steam Fair right Marilyn on. Monroe in it with your cape. Yeah, exactly. I like it. Hey. What's going on? Not much. feel like we haven't seen you in like it's months. It's been you again? forever. I want you to recap where you've been. You get to make it all up. But before that, because just in case you're joining us for the first time in a long time, he is a version of Spider-Man that is also a version of Batman. It's he truly is, terrifying. He's a version of Spider-Man that is also the Sorcerer Supreme and the... Spirit Ven of Vengeance. Spirit of Vengeance. And this is basically just Iron Man. Iron Man in a, just a small spider in a suit of webs. The webbed warrior. <laughs> okay, so Huey, where were you? Uh, I was off with um, Miss uh, Scarlet Witch. We were getting Darkhold pages. Uh, we got one. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> then we got a little sidetracked. Nice. Family friendly. What were you doing? Uh, family friendly. Then you got sidetracked. <laughs> playing Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> we were playing board games. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Did you win? Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> and uh, here's the Darkhold page. All right. So that would be, I believe, two or three. It's been a couple of weeks. <laughs> Here you go. I don't want it. Yeah, take it. Why would I take the Darkhold page? I don't know. Page? It's probably my kind of thing. Yeah, it's because you're the magical one. <laughs> Shove it in my cape. Let's figure these hints. As you put it inside of your cape, which is apparently on the front of you, as you shove it in there, you begin it's to feel magical, burning on your... It's a magical, It's a magical... Thank you. you begin to feel burning on your flesh. Oh, right, right. Oh, put it in the cake there. <laughs> it's like Paul Puri, but what the hell are you doing? <laughs> How did he get corrupted? Well, he just started putting them on his body. <laughs> you disappeared for several months while we've been standing here quietly for several months. <laughs> and you forget what's going on. Yeah. We've been staring up at this building for four years. Uh, whatever level I got them to, you can go ahead and up yourself to, Huey, to keep it all even. Oh, yeah, we're all at 20. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I meant 10. I guess you guys oh. didn't level up. Yeah, me too. I don't recall leveling. No, we are at 10. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So standing in front of you is this boarded up building. To please step across it. Guys, mine looks way better than this. At least it did. What does it look like Yeah, now? the paint job on this building looks really weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't spend weeks on this. It didn't take me. You get it. You got a shaky hand. <laughs> <laughs> Should probably get your deposit back. <laughs> anyway, where were we? I I was you're jokes. all standing here. Staring up at this building. Well, let's go inside. I go to the front door. As you go to the front door, you begin to feel like an ominous kind of aura around the door itself. Ah. Still police tape over it, still boarded up, but a big sign that says go away. They're telling us to go away. All right, well, let's I'm get I'm going to open here. the door. Spider teenager, same as home. <laughs> you see, you hear a thwip come out of the multiverse, grabs you, sends you back home, campaign over. All right, I'll see you guys. <laughs> I thought your world was gone. You're just floating in space. I'll find a different home. <laughs> I He's in a world door. of spider bats now. <laughs> Damn, I was really hoping they would try other methods. Yeah, the door's open. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm just going to try to open the door first. I expected knowing Dan there'd be 30 minutes of attempting to figure out how to open the door without just opening the door. Please. So we've only got about 20 minutes of content way. left. <laughs> I was like, I honestly didn't anticipate this. I did not anticipate them trying the door knob. Uh, as you guys walk in, inside you see overturned bookcases. You see a door to your left. You see a staircase going up. On the back of the staircase, you see a do another door. So like there's one over here and then one behind the staircase. And then you see another door on the right. The staircase going up brings you to like a circular balcony kind of situation with a couple of doors up there. There's leaves, Would it rubble. be safe to assume this looks like the uh, MCU version of the Sanctum Sanctorum? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm there. I'm picturing it. Right. <laughs> now I know where I Is am. Is it covered in Why snow? No, there's no snow in oh. there. Oh. What? Why are we here? I don't know. It's your house. No, this one's not mine. No. <laughs> Why are we here? Are we trespassing? 
No, we can't even. I literally us. recapped it once for you guys before the he show, and then in the show. I don't, I don't know. know. You no, you don't. Yes. No, I know. I don't this know. voice. I hear. We're on your world. I mean, I'm just following you around. Oh, we are on my world. Yes. Ah. So what are you doing here, Dan? Look, well, give me that recap. Hello. Are you here? Yeah. You see a fizzle oh. hey. happening not, in the middle. You're not there. there's like there's a wisp. Here. Oh, my bad. And a couple of threads coming off of the wisp. Ooh. And then it opens up, and out comes out the floating head of Ooh. Spitting Strange. They um they make pills for that. <laughs> you see your face, but with eight eyes and two giant mandibles. So your face. Huh. <laughs> I can't figure out which one is uglier. To be honest, we never decided if they're giant nice spiders or if they're little spiders and giant. So we're just going that it looks like a spider. So <laughs> this is what you look like. Mm-hmm. That's terrifying. Yeah, I'm gonna burn you. I'm like Jesus. <laughs> the floating <laughs> ominous <laughs> head looks at you all, hisses a little, like. Hey. Oh, here's a lozenge. <laughs> I give him a spider lozenge. The head bites down on the lozenge and then goes, ah, thank you. Hello, traveler. Hello. I haven't been able to speak in quite some time. No one has entered my home. You're welcome. I uh, completed the quest objective. Where's my talk hold page? No. Uh, <laughs> That's how we're going to wrap this campaign up. We're, just we're gonna- going super video game with it. <laughs> Skip. I have tinkered with things Skip. that I cannot contain and have contained myself. It, I have tinkered with things that I cannot contain and, and I'm containing myself is the only way to prevent it from breaking out into the world. To prevent anyone from breaking me out and sending the dark old virus into the multiverse around, the, around us, I have contained myself in the dungeon and set up traps around the Sanctum Sanctorum. They didn't work because we were right here. I would advise, you, I would advise you to leave as no one will be able to... I, I think this is a pre-recording. <laughs> and I wave my hand through it. <laughs> and it goes right through it. I think this is a recording. I don't know I how would, you gave it a lot of <laughs> Magic. I would advise you to leave as no one will be able to sur- surpass and get by all of my amazing spitting strange traps. All right, well, you heard the man. I opened a portal. <laughs> I saw through his portal. I know exactly where I got to go. Well, it's a pre-recording, so the portal doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw through it. <laughs> the, rec- the portal actually spit out the recording. <laughs> ye oldy messenger From system. From ye oldy dungeon. The, the image just goes... <clears throat> what, if, what if we need to hear it again? <laughs> oh, no, Hello, the message is self-destructed. <laughs> <laughs> this message will self-destruct in five seconds. <laughs> it's okay, it's not real. Right. What's it going to do? Okay, uh, I have drawn out just for your reference that is not to scale, but you can have an right. idea what you're and looking at. totally... It was only a couple seconds yeah, to yeah. draw it. It's all it took. And it's at an angle where the light is blocking it from me being. Oh, is it? I don't know how the, wow, the video works. Okay. Should be good, yeah. All right. all right. So you guys are standing at the base of the stairs right now where the right uh, image of spinning. Sh- no, other side. My t- the scale is base bad. of the stairs, guys. Jesus. I'm sorry. How could I misconstrue this <laughs> beautiful drawing of I'm an artist <laughs> well if it's not a big ditty anime girl Ben can't really draw it <laughs> that's by the skin <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the curves right <laughs> why is Ben's dungeon so sensual <laughs> it's, it's weird <laughs> okay so what's the plan guys I'm just mostly along for the ride at this point I don't know magic I know this is uh, your world and you're the magical one. Yeah. I will throw things and punch. <laughs> Let me know when I need it. When I need it. Can you throw things and punch? I punched Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's what you get. Well, he said the dungeon. Why are we here? While you're standing there. You haven't there, told Andy, me why we're here. You feel yet. like a little bit of an itch in the back of your head. I got it. Yeah. Sometimes this cow is a little itchy. <laughs> or is that your spider sense? Oh, that too, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I look around. That's my it, spider that's, sense uh, picking little, anything up. Just a little tingle. I, the whole, I, the whole, the whole. Beneath room. my cape, I drop a couple of spider orangs into my hands. <laughs> and, <laughs> oh, that's where we're going. I okay. thought you were gonna yeah. drop something else. <laughs> I, I dropped trail. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought. I I you're gonna poop. Where is he going with this? You're, you're I'm, making out a, I'm making a foofy. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he making that face? <laughs> my bat suit gets rid of all excrement <laughs> it's true super high tech do you have anything to detect magic yeah 
I guarantee this entire house. You should detect <laughs> magic to see where the most magic's coming I from. I can almost guarantee this entire house will be glowing. <laughs> Me too. Go ahead and roll that. Uh, I don't have it's to. It's not roll. a roll. It's a spell. Yeah, actually, I, know, I need him to at least say he wants to do it. Here's the thing. I don't have detect magic. You're a sorcerer <laughs> supreme. <laughs> you don't have detect magic. You're a sorcerer crunchwrap supreme. Is that the one? How do you not have that? Because I didn't take the spell. <laughs> Oh, spider Jesus, please show us the way. I would like to detect magic through my innate abilities as being the Sorcerer Supreme in this being I'll give it house. to you because I wrote in what you would do if you detected magic, and I'd like to say it. As you look around, everything just goes pure white as magic is just, just so brimming you are off. Aware, <laughs> you're aware, the Batman was, I mean, the spider bat was right. <laughs> hey, you want to get sued? <laughs> A little bit. You want to get sued? Well, we can't co use copyright. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're just, you know, doing a spider verse. So if I had well, to yeah, pick yeah. where to go, it would be down. everywhere. It would be everywhere. It doesn't help at all. All right, I'm going to go, over, I'm I'm gonna go over this door. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so so you guys are paralyzed with indecision. I said the dungeon multiple times and everybody ignored right me. As you go to the door, and I'm assuming with dramatic effect. I know. I, I poke at it with my bad ring. As you poke sure at nothing it. Nothing happens. Nothing happens at all. Okay. With the door. It's magical. Be careful. And then I open it. As you open it up in dramatic effect. Okay. Inside, you see the kitchen. I'm gonna make a snack. Let me know when we're done. <laughs> you see a refrigerator, a little like kitchenette table. You see like a full situ situation. It's got like a gas stove going on, multiple Good. ovens. Does it have a hood vent? It's got a hood vent. Good. It looks like a very high Good. quality New York brownstone kitchen. Oh yeah, cool. What is the rent on the <laughs> This is not the important part right now. <laughs> I just, you know, I forgot we're in New York. How does he afford this? <laughs> it's a uh, 6 I'm going to go across the other door. <laughs> As you open it up, inside you see what appears to be like a smoking <laughs> reading room. You see a couple of lounge, lounging chairs. That's what I read. All the bookcases have been thrown to the ground. All the books are scrawled. I, uh, and there's a fireplace that is currently lit. This normally works in my place where this I need to clean up. Lit. So I snap. So all of the bookshelves will go up and the books will go back into the shelf. Mm, That's how work. I do it. Doesn't work. I look around the bookshelves to see if there's any switches that might cause one of the bookshelves to move and reveal a secret door. Give me a perception roll or investigation. Either one will work. Or strength. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Eleven. You don't get a feeling for anything. Mm. If I know this mm. house, I keep my dungeon under the stairs. <laughs> I go down to the stairs. No, oh, oh, to the door. Are there, there any? As sconces? you go to the door, you get closer to it. Wardings appear to, uh, around it, and in the middle of the warding is what appears to be a keyhole. Ooh. Told you, it's right here. Found it. <laughs> I you wanted me to go to the kitchen and get you a cookie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's, be there's, useful for once. They're spidery cookies, though. They're meant oh, for spiders. Right. Yeah, Never mind. that's why I didn't look. For you guys hear some shaking and rumbling going on in the kitchen. There's some shaking and rumbling going on. I guess you better go to the kitchen. I guess that so. might be where the key is. Who knows? <laughs> As you enter the kitchen, looking through it on the other side, you see the fridge kind of just shaking. Yeah, he's probably mm. got a he's probably got a head or something in there. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, just probably, <laughs> it's probably Cthulhu. <laughs> it's just got Cthulhu. All right, everybody. I use mage hand to open the gun door. <laughs> From a distance. <laughs> I mean, okay. As you open up the door, you see that the door is lined with teeth and it growls at you. Oh my God, the fridge is a mimic. <laughs> Roll for initiative. Smart. That's why I use beige hands. That is true. Andy uh, read the story that I got that one. <laughs> oh, is it the Jason Aaron run? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I, was, I was like, that's why Andy's not going to the fridge. He's right I was like, I'm not going anywhere in this kitchen. Go us, Huey. God, you guys... Just, we both got nat ones on our initiative. Just the worst. <laughs> I mean, I got a six. <laughs> so an eight. I got a 15. I also got an eight. What's your deck? Ben's still confused. No, I... Plus two. I'm looking for all my stuff. But I really don't we are... Oh, you, I'm better yeah, than you. Slightly. <laughs> My net one is slightly better than your net one. Why that that doesn't good? look like a mimic fridge at all. It's an elder oblix. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ah, sorry. I, I didn't have Romanian. a mimic fridge miniature. Should have gone to Etsy. Seriously. <laughs> why are you so unprepared? We have not played this game in 47 years. All right. Uh, so they both got ones. What'd you get, Andy? I got a 15 total. All 
I I wouldn't have said this, but I want everyone to know. I got a two. <laughs> uh, my total is a nine. Oh, it's, not, it's not with my pluses, but I'm just saying. Why is it going down? Just letting you know. Yeah. So it's a nine, an eight, a seven. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly I, write it down. It's going to keep going. I miss math. Oh, okay. What is your total One of all your additions? One plus seven is hard. You're an eight. I'm an eight, but he's first. Okay. My dex is higher. Okay. By one. Just the way he worded it. He's an eight. I'm an eight, but he's first. I mean, I thought it was very clear. Yeah. That's actually what Dan's profile on that dating website says. <laughs> he's an eight. I'm an eight, but he's first. <laughs> Where are we in relation to the thing? Right there. You're right there. I'm just going to use that as a space. That area is going to be the room. What, what, is, what stuff is in the kitchen for me to use so, as obstacles? Between you and the mimic, there's what? nothing. <laughs> okay. Okay. On the left side, if we're going to draw it in. You guys want me to blow up this house? Yes. I'm going to do it. I'm going to turn the gas on. We're going to burn Let it this build up. No, no. Gas we're, we're, not, we're, not we're, not music, we're not musical on this one. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Copyright. This is a kitchen of holding. It's a lot bigger on the inside than it looks on the outside. Do you guys get this weird illusion that there's also weird staircases in here? For the record, for the record, I did say that wasn't the scale. <laughs> the foyer. He did. Just, um, yeah, so on the left side there drawing. is the kitchenette island in the middle. Uh, stove and everything is right there. On the far wall over there is the hooded system that Huey would understand. On the right-hand side of that table, that's a little kitchenette table that you guys could be sitting at if you were having a nice Are meal. there pots and pans like hanging? They're hanging stuff? over the island I like it. on the All left right. side. Sorry. Fantastic. <laughs> Andy, shockingly, you're first. I don't know how. Don't worry, I'll take care of this. <laughs> I'm going to put this in between me and him. I'm going to throw two spider orangs. At the chomping fridge. At the chomping fridge. It's drooling now, by the way, and it's sure. kind of turned a little on its side, so you can kind of like get a better angle at you guys. Um, nom, nom. My lowest one was, God, I, 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 I forget how awesome I am, a spider bat. Uh, <laughs> my lowest one was a 22. Uh, yeah, shockingly, that hits. Okay, All right, cool. <laughs> That's good. Roll that. Uh, oh, my damage roll wasn't great though. Uh, so total with both spider eggs hitting him was uh, 13. Okay. It's not great. Uh, I am then going to do nothing because that was my action. <laughs> yeah, I, was wondering what, I was wondering what bonus action you might have had to work with pots of pans. Uh, could I use my bonus action to take down two frying pans? I'll give you that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to... Make an omelet by breaking a few eggs. <laughs> oh, oh! Now you're an MC. You're an MCU character. Yeah. Well, I gotta. Do, I'm trying to get a quick po point. <laughs> Don't forget to chop up some mushrooms. What? What? <laughs> On Clearly the mimic, does, 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 that, does that get me a quick point? A what was spider? the line? Uh, I said it's time. Let's make an omelet and try to break. I'll give it to you because it eggs. did remind me of an MCU. Yeah, I was gonna moment. say you said I was. Yeah, an I'll MCU. give it to you. All right, cool. All right, I got a, I got a spider point. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, okay, so the the, the mimic itself kind of squirms a little bit from the hits. And then the freezer door opens up and you see an eyeball. And it blinks once, sees where you are behind the counter, and then it looks you. over at Houston and then just starts beelining over there. I told you it was a Cthulhu in the fridge. <laughs> I was wrong in the fact that it is a Cthulhu fridge. Uh, what's um, its it movement can move speed? Only 15 feet, because it's a giant five, fridge. 10, 15, or five, yeah. 10, 15. Yep. Sorry, I counted the space. And right. as it's at you, Huey, its tongue comes out and goes 15 more feet. Sees Still that it can't. Hit I know. Sees that it can't hit you, and it begins to like wave around, wave and then back. kind of retracts. It. <laughs> wave back. Don't be rude. Hello. <laughs> yeah, All right, I Houston, you're up. It was kind of because you both you both got an aid, but you go first. So yeah, I thwip to the ceiling, and then I firebolt him. <laughs> Get the ceiling's only 10 feet tall in here. Shockingly, it's not a tall building. No. <laughs> sure. It's a New York brownstone, but it's actually only about five feet high. It's, a re it's like a miniature New York brownstone. It's magic. It's a, magic. It's a brownstone. I'm assuming that didn't hit. What was it? It's in that one. Jesus. What dice did you <laughs> it's use? two in a row. Same one. Stop using the big dice. It's when I rolled the nat 20 on earlier. Then you wasted it. I, I literally said you wasted it. Oh, whatever. Dude, All right, why, Dan. Why do you roll before the game? It doesn't make any sense. Um, I'm gonna start buying you like you're gonna have. I'm gonna for Christmas. I'm getting you a dice dungeon. 
I know for, for Christmas dice. I'm getting Houston weighted dice so we can start rolling well. But, wait, but they don't they don't land on that twenties. They always land on like a twelve. <laughs> That's or a fine. <laughs> That's that way that fine. doesn't seem suspicious. You know, and if you, you have it. like some decent, it's, no, you like, know, it should land pluses, on pluses. It'd be fine. It should roll on a thirteen. So my default will always make saving throws. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I am going to pull out my webbed long sword. <laughs> Uh, use my bonus action to cast magic weapon on it, and I am going to charge. Wait, can I make that? Beautiful. I think I am. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in range. I stab it. You stab it? Yep, twice. Okay, roll for attack. Uh. 18 and 17. 18 and 17, both hit. Sweet. Roll for damage. Ooh, max damage on the first one. 12 and six, so 18 damage. All right, and as you're stabbing at it and your hand goes in, the teeth kind of wrap around you, kind of grappling up around you, because it's in for it's an object form mode. <laughs> And as it's got you, you now have to roll a uh, escape. Uh, to, so you basically got to do a strength roll because it's grappling. Strength roll, nat 20. Nat 20? Yep. Well, then screw you. Uh, <laughs> Not today, Frigic. Is Fridge and Mimic put together? I don't think it works. It didn't. But I had Mig to. Rich? I had to. I had to clarify because it sounded so fridge. odd. Mimridge. Uh, no, if anything, it's a, it's a Mimic Fridge, like a mini fridge. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I'll give Andy this one. Yeah, yeah it's like one. right Two next to Two quick points. It's, ooh. <laughs> it's nice. like from a college dorm. Mimic fridge. Yeah. Okay, uh, Andy, top of the round. Oh, it's my turn. Okay, oh, great. What's my movement speed? Wow, I can move so fast now. A <laughs> uh, half speed while you're crawling over the countertops. I could still get there. Oh, okay, it's wait, fine. I'm I just have, letting it. 50 feet. What? I'm a monk. <laughs> um, so even if half speed, you're like, I still Even half speed, <laughs> I am super fat. I am going to uh, <laughs> smack him with my twin frying pans. Pong. <laughs> Pong. <Pong-pong. laughs> okay, my lowest is a 19. Okay, that hits. Okay, good. Also roll for strength after you do the damage. Sure. To see if the teeth grab you. <laughs> well, it's frying pans. So they would grab my frying pans. Oh, well, you're in range using your weaponry. You're within five I feet. I mean, I there. stabbed it with a sword. Yeah. Oh, I see. I wasn't really paying attention during your turn. That's right. <laughs> uh, what would the damage on my frying pans be? I was wondering if you found frying pan and that's where you were rolling there. <laughs> see if it's in there. It'd be an improvised weapon. I, w- I would say improvised weapon or blunt object, like a club. Long I'll give you. Long sword? What would an improvised weapon be? I don't know that off the top of my head. We'd never do that. I don't either. I'll I'd with, say club. I'll go with club. Yeah. yeah with, uh, Guy's club. basically a club. It is 1d4. That's no big deal. But you're doing it twice, right? Yeah. Okay. It's pretty fucking good. Not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> f- uh, 14 damage. 14? 14. Clunk, clunk. I think. <laughs> or is that, would that be, is club strength or dexterity? Strength. Okay, so 10. 10? 10. Okay. Uh, and then you said a strength roll? Yep. Save? Yeah. Just to see you break the grapple. Uh, nat 20. Damn. What is with you two? <laughs> Not today, Mimic Fridge. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm awesome. Um, I am then going to uh, use a bat, spider bat point uh, to drop into patient defense. <laughs> like that? Yeah, pretty much. You gotta make a noise though. I wanna hear I wanna hear a kia. Uh, uh Spider Bat doesn't do kia. I am one with the night. Get at least um, grunt. <laughs> that's actually the sound he makes. Instead of kia, it's Spider Bat does a kia. I am one with the night. <laughs> pretty much. I gave him a monologue. Uh so yeah, so you have a disadvantage when attacking me on the next turn. All right. The so you're there and he's at well, yeah. He came in, you hit a which much Dan did the most damage, so I'm gonna hit for Dan. That makes sense. He's stupid. I get it. 
And I just got to say why I'm picking Dan because you all think I'm picking on Dan, which is true. Because you always pick on <laughs> Which is accurate. <laughs> Before the comments yell at us, an improvised weapon is 1d4. Oh, oh so, it's the same. so it would have been the same. Okay, okay good cool. to know. Good look up. We never do improvised weapon. Yep. I don't um, think I, I've all right. ever had anyone pick up an yep. improvised weapon. So it's weapon. coming at you with its doors. Like, okay. Hot. It's got twin doors. Because it's a mimic for you. Does a 19 hit? Uh, barely. <laughs> Does it, oh, yeah. You have a high AC, don't you? I do. <laughs> What's your AC? 19. Oh, is it? Yeah. Mine's 21. Um, is it and really? I roll. I don't know why. <laughs> Mine's 13. Why is mine 13 is damage, Dan. What the hell is it? 21. And give me a strength roll to see if you get trapped in his jaws. 13? Yeah. Twenty one. Oh, Twenty one to break out? Mm -hmm. I don't like you two. Yeah. Let's go try and grab it, Houston. <laughs> that was when we were in the Iron Man armor. It's 17. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I don't know why I have 21. That I was seems awful. Say, I was like, yeah, yeah. Dang. I just gotta get Houston. He rolls poorly. I'll get him and grapple. <laughs> I'm on the ceiling. You know what? Now it looks like the ceiling. <laughs> All right. Um, Huey, you're up. Fireball. Is there going to be a pile of retired dice for Huey? <laughs> you know what? Let's just, we'll go to the store for this and we'll just get you a whole mess of new dice. Yeah, I think you really need do, some. Do the digital. It doesn't work well for me, but there's no does, way. No, last time I did the digital, it was the same thing. <sighs> Lord, you just, just don't have Dice no gods don't like you. Your heart's know. not in the cards. Anyway, it was. We're not uh, even using cards. <laughs> uh, does an 11 happen to hit? Uh. No. Didn't think so. You want to know the best part? I'll just tell you just because it's, it's a 12. 12. It's a 12. <laughs> I can't even roll a five. That's how bad I am at this game. I wasn't going to say the AC because uh, it's already kind of low, but just for the sake of, no, I just want everyone no. to know how I got close. I a few more to try. <laughs> few more you don't even have two attacks. Oh, because you're fireball. You don't have two attacks. I'm a sorcerer. Yep. All, All right, right, Dan. Hmm. I look... After I kick him back from trying to grab me, I go, time to put this fridge on ice. And I stab it again with my sword. When the ice go in the fridge. Also, do I... Yeah, I'll give sense. you one for that. I, 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 <laughs> I mean... Why would you put the fridge You know what? On Depending ice. on your damage, I'll give you the quip. The lowest was 12 on the... Okay, so you hit. To hit. But if you can do enough damage to kill it, I'll give you the quip point because that's the perfect finale. Right. Hey, it's true. So, Otherwise, you're just saying it. <laughs> He's already dead, my boy. 19 damage. Mm. Yep. Ah, time to put this <laughs> fridge on ice. This <laughs> ah, and I just keep stabbing it. As you stab it, it's He's already dead. <laughs> it squeals out <sighs> and out falls a ketchup bottle, a mustard bottle, and like a bowl of leftover ramen mm. on the ground, and it just kind of keels over. Yeah, the ramen's a few oh. weeks old. Oh my god. I go over to the stove, I turn all the gas on. <laughs> <laughs> I wait a few minutes and I cast fireball. Oh <laughs> and somehow miss. <laughs> yeah, he misses. <laughs> the house doesn't even blow up. Now we're just filling it with gas. <laughs> like assholes. <laughs> all right. Uh, Mimic fridge is dead. I bet good, the keys are mustard. <laughs> There's only one way to check, and I open up the mustard, dump it out on the ground. You spill then mustard over the kitchen. I dump that out. There's ketchup everywhere. I take a little a splashes on his robes. I take the, the ball of ramen and I flick it all out. <laughs> There's nothing in here. Yeah, there's nothing in the food. It's just, you kill the fridge, guys. <laughs> Why would we do this? <laughs> it looked at me funny. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Turns out it wasn't even evil. <laughs> yeah, it was just, it saw Houston, thought it was its owner, and was going to like say hi. <laughs> It's like a puppy dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're home. I haven't seen you in. Oh, I'm not me. I wasn't. You guys did all the hitting. <laughs> true. Why are these other <laughs> people hitting me? Why aren't you stopping them? Because it. Uh, I would like to investigate the rest of the kitchen to make sure there's nothing else in here. I'll help you. Oh, thanks. Do you want to roll? No. All right. Uh, nat 20, so a total of 25. So as you're looking around the kitchen, you see a um, on the table itself, you see kind of like just a note being he held there with a steak knife. Reading the note, it says, Zelda, if you happen to have gotten in here, I put the key upstairs. Zelma. Zelma, thank you. I was going to say, we have to find Link. <laughs> <laughs> He's somewhere in the building. <laughs> <laughs> now we're out on the lookout for the Triforce. We're just doing Jason Aaron's run, but with spider faces. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, why not? <laughs> Let's go upstairs. I'm on the way down here. 
No, you're coming. No, you have to learn to do this by yourself. <laughs> if anything in Texas, I need you. <laughs> he helped you. Are you heading towards the stairs? No. I'm just going to sit here in the kitchen. <laughs> Let's, just wait. Let's just wait for the apocalypse. I'm just going to pout. Let's just wait for the apocalypse. Uh, yeah, we go to the stairs. Well, I am. I don't know about the As you get yeah, the stairs, you up the stairs. As you get close to the stairs in the middle of the foray, who's with him? I am. It's a foyer, by the way, not a foray. Foray. No, foyer. I go, hold on. And I stab the stairs with my sword real quick <laughs> to see if it moves or I did quit. not do the house as a mimic. We only thought of that last week. I, you know what? You, <laughs> you had know. plenty of time. Just. To rewrite my notes. next character. <laughs> to rewrite all my notes, Monster the whole house. house is you guys, giant. you guys are just. It's like that one antibodies. Monster House. Oh yeah, yeah. Osmosis um, Jones, the RPG. There you go, the RPG. <laughs> um, since this is the the source, the Sanctum Centaurum, are there like display cases with magical weapons all over the place? No. Yes. Not oh. in here. This is bullshit. No, I have. I wanted like a super sweet axe. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess we're going up the stairs. Then. Okay, or so I am. Before you guys head to the stairs, real quick, the mimic is a level for doing the extra mi- little. Oh, side oh sweet! That was really strong so, mimic. This is that so much easier very... than uh, than a uh, really shitty hardcore campaign. The guy's, uh, <laughs> the guy's an asshole. Um, but as you get closer to the stairs, <laughs> Huey oh, taking point, your oh. foot gets near it, and you just hear like a shift going off around I'm you. Floating. No. As Dan's foot I, steps I was on the say, gra- I'm always floating. Okay, uh, but it doesn't matter because as you get near the step, you don't you didn't step on something. But you still hear it shifting as you get near the foyer's stairs. <laughs> I'm floating. I rolled an eight for life, guys. You still got to get near the stairs, floaty. I'm floating. <laughs> no, no, I don't think you take it into account. I'm fucking floating. <laughs> um, above you, you hear a bunch of traps going off. Oh. And you see things it's coming giant. at you from all sides. So everyone give me a uh, acrobatics roll to try and dodge that. No. I just <laughs> it is coming from all sides and all angles. So I just let it hit me. Just take me. <laughs> take me from this world. Uh, that would be a 14. 20. 20. Not natural. Huey. Come on. Come, come on, on, buddy. Come on. Huey. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, you did a thing. You better than a one above ten. <laughs> yeah, dude, with your bonus, bonus. I hope. Yeah, he's above 11. ten. Eleven. So Dan, as you're walking forward, you see these you giant die. webs come down, and they just grab both Spider Bat and Spider Supreme. Oh no! And they just slap them right up to the ceilings, holding them in place. Their arms are pulled back, almost like in a crucifix pose, so they can't do anything. Oh, I had a nightmare like this one. <laughs> Holy trap up, spiders. A giant <laughs> me? Spider <laughs> repellent. Holy trap stick. spider me? Me. <laughs> well, because I don't have a, my sparrow is in here. Well, I guess technically Kevin's Guys. supposed to be my sparrow. And from the ground, Dan, at the, base of the, at the base of the stairs, you see what appears to be a fireball forming up. Oh, that's not good. Doesn't look good. You <laughs> it doesn't probably, look good. You should probably stop that. It doesn't look good. You should, you uh, should probably do something other than yeah. looking back and forth. Oh, my gosh. Like, oh, no. I, I, oh, no. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what to do. Okay. Shoot it with webs. <laughs> We're spider people. Oh, thank you. For Why do you guys minute. always forget that? <laughs> and then after I shoot a couple, I go, wait a second. And then I use my fire resistant webbing. Sure. You have fire resistant webbing? Yes. <laughs> We're still and on I his just, world. Give me to see and how I quick just you can do it. keep doing it until I can't see the glow of fire. Okay. Give me a dexterity roll. Let's see how fast you can knock it out. Uh, nine. That's not very fast. <laughs> it's true. It was pretty slow. I'm still... As you're doing it, the glow's kind of going around your webbing. It seems like it might be reducing some of it. <laughs> just <going. laughs> I'm not just shooting I'm webs everywhere. You know? Realizing that he's failing horribly, yes. you guys are still able to kind of squirm. You're just kind of like, you can't get to your tools. But you feel like you might be able to get loose if you just squirm enough. Is it dark up here? It is dark up here. I disappear into the shadows. <laughs> Whoosh. Nice. <laughs> I just pictured you being like, oh no, wait. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> All right, Huey, give me a deck saving throw to see if you can free an arm. Can I? I don't know if I can take him with me. Can you? Me. When you're in the demo, you can use action to come. No, that's invisible. You Another one into the graveyard. <laughs> I failed. Jesus Christ, man. 
Check, Here's step. It. When you are in dim lit or darkness as a bonus action, you can teleport up to 60 feet to an unaccumulated space that you see also in dim lit. I mean, it doesn't specify if that I can take... You can't. Yeah, somebody with me. I mean, How you, does you, it you work when advantage. light hits, hits you in the darkness, though? Are you still in the darkness or does it then bring you out? Because it is a fireball going up. No, if it's dimly lit, it still counts. I, I don't have to be in complete darkness. Right, no, but what I'm saying is, so you are dimly lit and in darkness yeah. basically at the moment. But if the fireball goes up, it's going to illuminate well, the entire scene. I would have done that beforehand, and I would just come out in a space of darkness okay. 60 feet That's away. what I wanted to check. Yeah, no, it, so then, like can knock me out of it. Right, and that's yeah. what I wanted to make sure, because yeah. if it's going to light up the whole ceiling, yeah, you could have I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. All right, hear, hear me out. I lose more he friends. I rolled a five. Huh? I deserve I, what's coming to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got you. He gets advantage because we're proficient with webbing because we're all spider people. I didn't use webbing. I'm trying to free my hand. Yes, from a web. No, the, the webbing's got you all when trapped. When I come I know. out of oh, the oh, okay. shadows, it's I'm going to go ahead and use it's a trick point I appreciate to it. shoot webs into his arms and yank him down. You're going to what? Sorry. I, I, was, I was getting the dice. <laughs> Said a whole thing. Well, I, uh, when I come back out of the shadows, I'm going to use a quip point to uh, shoot my webs and yank him off the ceiling so the fireball doesn't hit him. Okay. As a quip point, I'll give it to you. Yeah, I was yeah. like, otherwise that wouldn't. So I come out. I got you. <sighs> As you're struggling and you're panicking and the fireball's rising. Oh, I'm not panicking. It I'm looks like it's an, it looks like it's only at half strength though because Dan's fire resistance stuff kind of got in the way of it. Yeah. But also, as it's coming at you, you just feel your chest get yanked and you get pulled straight off. The fireball hits the ceiling, blazing the entire thing, but only about half of it, because you know Dan blocked it. <laughs> also, say? It's a good thing I turned the gas on. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you on fire? <laughs> yeah, but I'm not resistant. Oh, okay. Hellfire and regular fire are worse. technically different. Yes, uh, yes, I am. Worse. Just the word. I'm down four dice already. <laughs> I got a few more. We, we're all right. <laughs> all right, you, you guys can't are back take my good ones. The stairway. I'm not giving him my big dice. Those are my I good dice. I float up to the fire. <laughs> Just take me Stop already. trying to kill yourself. <laughs> right, I guess we go upstairs uh, now. It should be safe. <laughs> we triggered the trap. Are there any rugs on the ground? Uh, there's a rug going up the actual... Uh, Was it burnt in the flame? No. All right, I pick up the fire-resistant rug. Uh, and I the, take it with me. The flames were on the ceiling. The flames yeah. up. Not, I know, no, the flames are coming from, from the ground. ground. Actually, oh, it it, it pulled you guys to the ceiling and then would launch the fireball right, from right, the floor right, to so the ceiling. So in theory, it's fire resistant, so I go, here you go. <laughs> Just wrap yourself case. in this rug. <laughs> it's also Persian, so it looks nice. Uh, you find the rug's very difficult to get off the ground. It feels like something's uh, okay, holding fine, it down. It's probably wildly expensive. <laughs> You can make some money off these. Right, I'm saying. You guys just start looting the site. I'm saying, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Screw the world. <laughs> make a couple spider bucks. <laughs> Is that what they're called? Spider bucks. Rack bucks, actually. <laughs> they have pictures of George Washington <laughs> as a spider on them. <laughs> I don't even know where they're going with this. I don't either. It's... This whole world is right. stupid. What's the, All right. It really is. I, I, this is why I left. <laughs> this is why I left. <laughs> we go find the key Wildly upstairs. confusing. So as you begin to get on the stairs, Huey, you're There's floating. Another, another fireball. <laughs> Just two of them. Because you're floating <laughs> over the stairs. Fire. But as you go over the stairs, you feel something pulling you down like a magnet. All of the metal in your pockets, all of the George Washington spider coins, all of your belt. Why would I have George Washington <laughs> spider coins? I don't, <laughs> I don't live here. <laughs> It's Whatever true. metals in your pockets. I don't have metal in my pockets. I'm a sorcerer. What, what's your equipment? You have nothing metal. All of mine are actually sharpened polymer. <laughs> and he's like, I'm rewriting what my stuff is. I never specified, so I'm specifying now. <laughs> Apparently, I have a flail. There you go. What I are you doing it. with this? <laughs> guys, <Okay>. guys <laughs> I, I cast bash. <laughs> a flail. You just feel yourself getting yanked down to the ground. I get rid of the flow. What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you doing this? Stop tripping traps. <laughs> Stop tripping traps. Uh, Andy and Dan, you feel you guys being pulled towards the staircase? Your whole suit's got some metal in it somewhere. I'm just webbing. It's true, actually. <laughs> he has been. Webbing he his, he even said his sword is webs. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So again, you see Andy kind of just stumbling forward. What the hell is going on? What are you guys on? doing? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm in a 1960s version of my world. <laughs> Where all of the villains had traps. <laughs> and the traps were <laughs> giant magnets. I was Piano. picturing Scooby Doo. Just <laughs> also, that would work. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Even see the waves. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I, give me a strength roll, both of you guys. I just, just drop the flail. Okay, fine. And then you ricochet to the ceiling and take six damage. No, uh, strength check. Yeah. 24. You're fine. I can actually fight magnetism. <laughs> That's how good I am. 
What'd you get, Huey? Another retired one? So Huey just drops the flail. Eight. Fifteen. Oh, yeah, no, you're good. Tarot, why'd yeah, you put you, that you one fight against it. It's a seven. Okay. Well, still you still made it. Success. Mine was an eight. Are you sure that your dice don't only have magnetic. one through tens on them? <laughs> oh my God, I've been rolling a D10 <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. He said, he said that well, he you, rolled you a You just wasted one. it. I also rolled a nat one in that. God, you oh, all right. So anyway, you guys fight against the magnet. It doesn't seem to be stopping you at all. You're finding a little resistance, uh, but you're just walking through it because you're spider bat and your sorcerer supreme. Do it. Actually, prepared for this. Huey, I'll even let you keep the flail. I prepped against right. magic. You don't want the flail? I'm dropping it. <laughs> I actually prepped against magnetism. Oh, what did I delete? That was I have a. I, I actually have a magnet on me, so when I put it up, it pushes me away. <laughs> Oh, good thing I prepared for this. <laughs> well, I got stuff in these pockets. One of my villains uses right? only magnets. I should be clever. <laughs> magnets. How As you guys work? reach the top of the stairs, you see the door to your right. I think we should go to that. On that door. Well, there's a few of them here, but this oh, door okay. on the Never. right has a face on it. And there's a nose ring that's the knocker. I'm not knocking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> I walk over to the, and I poke it in the eyes. Oh, hey, oh, wake up, stupid. What, what are you doing? <laughs> I've read Dr. Strange comics. <laughs> What's in that room? This I'm is what's in Dr. Strange's master bedroom. Okay. That's what's in the room. Is there a key in there? There's a key in here. Awesome. Is there traps in there? No. Don't lie to me. <laughs> Don't lie to me. No, uh, but I insight. only open if you can answer my riddles. Insight three. check. Ah, riddles. I like riddles. 15? <laughs> what? I had inside check to see if he was lying no, to me. Nope, he's not lying to you. Oh, okay. The, why would he put why would he put traps in his own bedroom? I don't know. He's weird. But I'm Dr. Oh, like Str a mimic bed? <laughs> but I'm Dr. Strange. <laughs> I don't want to know Ooh. what happens. Where's your time. mandibles? I think you're from another universe. <laughs> They're right here. <laughs> this door knocker smart. <laughs> <laughs> I outsmarted us. <laughs> you answer my riddles three. Seven. And I'll let you be. Eight. See, I'm even a rhyming door. <laughs> Four. Oh, this is annoying. Go ahead. What if I gave you 20 bucks? <laughs> what am I going to do with it? I don't have arms. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not here to judge. <laughs> Maybe you'll meet a nice screen door. <laughs> Make a couple of dog doors. There's a one-story house where everything is yellow. The walls are yellow. The Four. doors are yellow. 47. E <laughs> <I can't. laughs> Even all the furniture is yellow. The house has yellow beds and yellow couches. What color are the stairs? Yellow? No. Final answer? <laughs> There's no stairs. It's a one-story house. Oh, clever. Maybe you are Dr. Strange. <laughs> Told you. Clever. <laughs> clever. He didn't specify if it was a basement. <laughs> I'm going to need to see a detailed That's blueprint of this house. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me just. <laughs> is there like a front step that goes up to the door? I we don't there's know. There's a step things. ladder. Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what can you hear but not see or touch, even though you control it? Say it again. Say that again. Say what again. can you hear but not see or touch, even though you can control it? Breath? I was going to say wind. Well, you can't control the wind. I know, that's why. When it but comes you out of your, your breathing. Oh. <laughs> and you can hear, but you can't see. You're the it, Doctor Strange. It. Go for it. Unless it was really He was going to redeem himself. He's going to get all the riddles right. <laughs> Breath. How cold outside is it? <laughs> we need to know the temperature. I mean, I, you can see your breath if it's cold. That's all I'm saying. Outside? He's the magic it's man. It's like 60 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> <laughs> He's magic man, so. Breath. Breath? Incorrect. Oh. What else could you? I'll give you one more before I sick my goons on say, you. Say it one more the time. The doc gave me goons. Say it one more time. What can you hear but not see or touch, even though you can control it? Uh, since you're a Doctor Strange and you got the first one, you're in the right ballpark. I'm apparently a Brooklyn door. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, hey, you want to listen to my riddles? <laughs> Give me, the, give me the third one. I'll, we'll come back to this one. <laughs> yeah, pass. <laughs> Is that an option? I can give you the third one, but you need to answer my riddles three, so I will leave you be. It's all in my opening statement. Well, yeah, but yeah, we'll come back to that. We have okay. to answer in right. order. That's okay. true. It's true. Pass. I'm often following you and copying your every move. Shadow. Shadow. What the? <laughs> <laughs> 
That's okay. what it is. It's a shadow. <laughs> All right, back to the hard one. <laughs> what can you Can hear? I at least finish the riddle? I guess. But not I'm haunted following you orange. and copying your every move, yet you can never touch me or catch me. What am I? <laughs> shadow. Yeah, yeah. All right, anyway. <laughs> oh, a whistle. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like he's like, well, fine. <laughs> fine. Uh, the answer it's to the second. No. The answer to the second one is the sound of your own you voice. You control a whistle, but you can't see or touch Too wrong. Whistle. Third is going to evolve. The sound of your own voice. Voice. I mean, Breath a whistle is the same thing. Is you were in the right ballpark, but uh, you know you didn't get it. So <laughs> anyway, here we go. Uh, just go ahead and knock on my nose three times, and it'll open up. No, oh, you sick bastard. <laughs> nose goes. Well, I, I mean, I don't have arms. I can't open. Oh, you know, this is disgusting. Open open door. I thought, I thought you were magic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope I'll see you later. Enjoy your time in Doctor Strange's bedroom. <laughs> Are we in a theme park? <laughs> oh God, it's Doctor Strange's bedroom. Can I get my fucking oh, yeah. validated? As you enter the bedroom, I you bought the fast pass, so we just <laughs> straight. As you walk straight into the bedroom, key. you magically feel refreshed with a long rest, as if you instantly Ooh. slept. I feel like you stole this from somebody else. What? The crossing a threshold. It seems like a get a long rest. I didn't. But <laughs> <laughs> I just thought a bedroom. Why would Doctor Strange sleep? <laughs> he 100 sleeps. Oh, I know. In the, the movies, comics. he does. In the comics, he sleeps too. Well, yeah, but why would he? If I'm magical, why would I ever sleep? Because you still need to sleep. Yeah. Not because you need to get your spell slots. Back. I wrote this, yeah, leave obviously. me alone. <laughs> it's all right, Ben stole my idea. <laughs> and sitting on his end table is a big key. He takes the key. Don't touch the key. Hold on. Before he does, I web it up. The so door said there's pacing. no traps. We're yeah, fine. He, he just picks the key up. Oh, that's <laughs> true. That's true. I forgot. I did. I and for, I did insight yeah, check. Yeah, you checked to make sure the it was magical long. items in the room. Huh? What kind of magic stuff's in here? Nothing. That's a lie. I check. That's I check in his. I what check are in these uh, handcuffs. Doing? I, say, I check his end table for porn. <laughs> you find handcuffs, nice. and you find the eye of Agimoto, allowing you to control all forms of time. God, I'm awesome. <laughs> I'm even more awesome than I was. You before. just left it there. No. <laughs> hey, look at that, guys. You got to do that thing he does. In the room. I mean, I have one right here. <laughs> that is true. Why don't I ever use it? <laughs> I don't know. You should do it for your rolls. <laughs> I rewind his rolls. Yeah. That's true. Oh, no. we go back to the door and open the basement. So door. as you open up the basement and you walk down, it goes down for what seems. I stop real quick. Hey, door. What's your name? My name is Bob. All right, thanks, Bob. Bob the door. Bob the door. Yeah, Bob right. the door. I like it. All right, good. I think Doctor Strange named me after Bob the Builder. <laughs> Do you got any That's more weird. riddles? Yeah, yeah, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, I only prepped three. Oh, you know how hard it was, you know you know, hard it was to you get. You know what's in the basement? You know how hard it was to get three riddles that I thought you guys could probably get, but not make them so easy you'd get them before I finished the sentence. What well, is you one? You failed plus on two. one of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we did the not even gonna lie, I looked for riddles for like two hours to get that nice middle ground. <laughs> We're gonna go to the basement door. As you go to the basement door, I open it up. You guys start walking down what appears to be dungeon stairs. It feels like you're walking for hours. They're just endlessly going. I'm exhausted. And really as you finally you reach the bottom, oh, in the middle of it is a nice circle room. There's wards around all the edges, and in the middle is a glass box. And sitting inside of it is Spitting Strange. I found him. <laughs> Good job. He was exactly where he said he was. <laughs> <laughs> you did amazing. Thank you. I'm proud of you. Don't take another step closer. Why? If you free me, the virus will take over my world. Oh, this is still a recording. <laughs> no, it's not. I, know. <laughs> it's just around. I okay. don't even know why we came down here. They haven't told me what we're doing in this house. <laughs> I mean, he said not to do it. We should probably leave. <laughs> yeah, that's Respect right. him. We're supposed to be getting a dark hold or something. Yeah, you, you got, got the page hold? on your back. Do you got any dark hold pages down here? I've sent the dark hold pages to the dark hold Wakanda door. What is it called? Wungador? Wungador. <laughs> Where is it? It's a cave between Wungador and Kunlun. Oh, I thought you meant Wakanda door. Okay. No, I was going to say Wakanda. It's a Wakanda door. Do you have the exact coordinates? It's like there's a Black Panther movie coming out and I put it in Wakanda. <laughs> now, I remember I wrote this during, you know, Multiverse of Madness. So it's at Wonder oh, yeah, <laughs> I open a portal to it. To Wonder Girl? Yeah. Well, before you go, <laughs> uh, don't, oh, you told don't, me where don't, it don't was. do it too right, quickly. No, it's over there. But don't get it. You'll free the dark hold virus on my world. Yeah, but we got to stop carnage or something. Carnage? What, what's carnage? Have uh, to do with it? You, well, you'll figure it out if we don't get the dark hold. Bye. <laughs>
<laughs> Listen, this is our thing. We go to one world. We learn we got to go to a different world. We go to that world. So the Wonder is in this world. And then we'll go to another world. And then we'll do another thing. That's how this works. <laughs> okay? You seem exhausted. Like you're just- <laughs> Honestly, a little bit. I'm, I'm being 100% honest. I already did this explanation. I know, I know. I'm, I'm trying to explain it now to Dr. Strange. <laughs> <laughs> He'll figure it out. He's Dr. Strange. <laughs> You just gonna leave? What else am I gonna do? He told me not to fall and free him. That is true. Yes, yeah, true. He used those, those exact words. I know. I trust other strangers. <laughs> I don't. They're a little weird. Insight check on Dr. Strange. <laughs> See if he's telling the truth about whether or not we should free him. Well, he, he is telling the truth. He doesn't want you to free him for fear of setting off the Darkhold virus. So wait. Which, as you two know, wait. is already in the world. It's already it's here. It's already in the world. I free him. <laughs> Stop. What do you, you mean are... it's already in the world? Yeah, you failed. You How did I fail? I probably yours. should have put a TV in here or something. <laughs> uh, probably. My cave has TVs. Well, it did. You don't have a cave anymore. <laughs> but I have As TVs. you say that, you feel that tingle on the back of your head again. There's a tingle. Hold on. <laughs> you have to pee? I do, I think so. <laughs> um, what do you mean the virus is already freed? I don't, they know about Those it. I don't exact know exact words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like to literally. So I failed. Yes. yes. I separated myself from the dark old pages to ensure that it would never be freed. Well, and yet you, you did should not probably. probably so, so I'm guessing they're probably not where we're about to go because you failed. Yeah, you suck. Maybe we should free you, and you can redeem yourself by coming along and sacrificing yourself dramatically when the time is right. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like something you should do. Yeah. Well, maybe I should take over one of my own dead bodies and throw dead bodies at things. There you go. <laughs> that would be a cool part of a, like a movie or something. <laughs> Well, if I failed, then you need to retrieve the Darkhold pages. That's what we're what trying we to do. Said. So he opens up a portal, and on the other side, you see the exact location of Wondergore that he's decided to put them. They're inside of these caves. Can we have some wards that will protect us from the virus? Why aren't you infected already? Because I'm special. But just in case, <laughs> we might like ward. be protected from the virus. Is it because we're from a different universe? Well, you're well, not. You're from this universe. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Did you just catch up? I forgot that we were in my universe again. <laughs> no, this is Spider We've Strange. We jumped through too many. It's actual Spider Strange, not me, Spider Strange. This is a spider that I is still the source of some words. Nothing God, stops I, Dan putting it all together finally, and then you just going, "Wait, did you just catch up <laughs> on the story?" <laughs> Nothing stops that. I mean, I know we I took like an eight-year break, but still. <laughs> Is the beanie restricting the blood flow to your brain? I've been focused on killing things and making sure you killed one can do thing. Things. Yeah, it's more than you in this session. I was going to say, I'm usually much better than all of you in this session. But that's not saying much when it comes I to me. I am just saying. In this house, it's not that impressive. Still, I want some words for my friends here. For your friends here? Yes. Well, I sense well, something keeping right. them away from the virus. What is it? It's my spunk. We're going to have to. Ew. Yeah, you're sensing. What do you sense? Family I friendly. sense something. <laughs> yeah. Huh. I'm going I'm to have to kill him. He's already infected. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, well, give us some wards so that if we fight anyone that's possessed or infected by the virus, we can use the ward to dispel them of the hey, virus and we don't have to actually fight them. But before Dan can starts slipping back into, form into blue beetle no, mode, no I'm going to walk through no. the, okay, the portal. Yeah. Real fast. I gave the hints I wanted to get. I'm leaving and I walk through the portal. If I'm just saying, I'm leaving. I walked through the portal. If he thought he was gonna, I can't hear you it. anymore. <laughs> I can't hear. You. <laughs> uh, can't hear you, Kevin. I'm gonna wear this as a hat. Fine. You don't. All get right. That. That's my hat. I just follow. <laughs> and that's on. gonna conclude today's session. Oh, They've we're got done. You. Yeah. We did it, guys. We saved Christmas. <laughs> All right, guys, that is where we're at for the day. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to know what's coming next, we're going to be wrapping up the Spider-Verse campaign. Andy's doing something with the Hardcore campaign. If you watched the last episode, you'll know why he has to do something, and I can't specify what yet. Uh, I'm currently working on our next, the band or our miscreation campaign, and we have a new DM who, when he figures... Do you want to do a Dan campaign? I do, actually. Kind of. Kind of. Oh, we'll do a Dan, <laughs> we'll do a Dan one-off. We're going to do a Dan one-off and see how he does. The best part is when Dan catches up halfway through. <laughs> Wait, Wait, that's <laughs> the plot. <laughs> that's what I had in mind. <laughs> but Dan should be doing a single DM while Houston's going to plan out a campaign. All of that's going to be coming to the fun. channel. Now that we've moved here, we're more free to film whenever we want to because this is my house and I can just tell them all we're going to film. And I'm uh, always here. As a 
supposed well, to before? Except when it's his wife, and then he doesn't get control over when we film. <laughs> Whoppa! That's a different problem in itself. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Oh, Don't forget to like, subscribe. Please let, leave us a comment down below if you remember the plot or if you caught up towards the end with Dan. <laughs> Tune in next week to see if Houston finally good. succeeds more than one role. Spoiler alert, he won't. <laughs> Even that's why he's DMing. That's why he's DMing. Yeah, we're going to win so easy. Yeah, you guys, just going to be the easiest game. I'll be honest, when he does DM it, it is generally easier to <laughs> win a fight. <laughs> We'll see you guys next time right here at Dungeons & Ale.